Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovation from leaders in our industry. And we're on day three, the final day of PTC 2024. I'm Barb Mitchell. I'm joined today by Mark Cooper from Atlas Edge. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you again. Yeah. We were just talking a little bit about it's the final day of the conference. How's it been so far? It's been fantastic. I mean, PTC is always great. It's a great way to kick off the year. Um, and someone made a joke this year, we should maybe rename it PDC, Pacific Data Center Conference, because there's so many DCs yes, here. It's there kind are. of really changed over the years. That's so true. Yeah, that's a good point. And from everywhere. I mean, you're coming from overseas. We've talked to people from Europe, Asia, everywhere. Yeah. India. I mean, the list goes on and on. <laughs> but uh, truly global, truly great way to kick off the year. So why don't we just start for a minute, if you don't mind, just tell us a little bit about Atlas Edge. Yeah, I mean, Atlas says we're a, we're a pan-European data center operator. We were founded in September 21. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're still very, very young in, in terms of our age in the DC industry. And our focus is very much around edge. Everyone says, well, what is edge? Because everyone has a different definition on that. But for, for edge, for us, it's about geography. Yeah. It's about having data centers in markets and cities which are closer to the end users. Because yeah. that's what we're seeing with this whole trend of kind of the applications, the cloud platforms where they're at the point now where they need to place their infrastructure closer to the end users to deliver you know, the performance, the security that the, the companies are looking for. Yeah. And now, so in addition to all the many meetings and networking, I know that you've said you've had a fairly full roster, but you also, you took some time out to be on a panel. Tell us about the panel. What were some of the key takeaways? What were you, what were you covering? Yeah, it was, it was a really interesting panel um, because it was um, participants from the internet exchanges than myself. Yeah. I've worked for an IX before, so I kind of know that market yeah. well. But obviously, I mean, one thing that came up is AI. You know, everyone talks about AI. It's become yeah. it's, it's kind of the, the hottest topic in the industry. Yeah. And we were talking about things like, how can you apply AI for networking? How can you use it to automate um, infrastructure? How can you use it to make things easier for the consumers of those services? That was one thing. Yeah. Um, another thing which came up was around shortages. So whether it's shortages of, of power, uh, shortage of land, but we had quite a long conversation about the shortage of talent in the industry. Mm. And I think that's a challenge that we have. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of gray hair in the industry or yeah. no hair. Um, <laughs> and it's how do we attract more younger people into the industry? Because you know, people look yeah. at data centers in particular, well, well it's, it's this gray box, it's not interesting. Yeah. So what can we do to kind of really motivate people and kind of improve the image of data centers as well? Yeah. And then the final piece was around sustainability and green, because that's, that's such a hot topic for everyone now. All of our customers, you know, they have ESG targets. So it's kind of, how do you deal with that? How do you how do you make things more sustainable? Yeah. Wow. That was that panel a full day because those are big topics. <laughs> it was. It was. A, it I was mean, a, yeah, it was a good panel. It was a good. Was, you uh, know, one of the best. AI, talent acquisition, sustainability. Those are yeah. Those are some big ones there. Yeah, there were some very opinionated people on the panel as I well, bet. which helps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's good to we've been in conversations this week on similar topics, and it's it's really it's good to hear. Um, especially on things like like talent and sustainability, people are really putting some effort behind those. And of yeah. course, AI, as you said, continues to be a huge driver yeah. uh, to to growth and demand. So, twenty twenty, we've said it's January twenty twenty four. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a second. But let's look back first. Yeah. Uh, so you had some, I, I believe, some new partnerships. Tell us a little bit about what were some of your key milestones in twenty twenty three. Yeah, I mean, I mean, twenty twenty three was a, a big year for us. We had quite a few announcements around the partnerships which you've done. The majority of the partnerships were focused around network and connectivity. Yeah. Because one thing we figured out is there is no edge without connectivity. Yeah. So we announced partnerships with um, Lynx, the London Internet Exchange, with Console Connect, with Megaport, with Packet Fabric. Fantastic. And that's really enabling the connectivity for the, the consumers, whether it's you know business or kind of retail consumers to the, the platforms that are in the DCs. That yeah. was one piece. Um, we also announced a partnership with North Shore. Um, and they're helping us around ESG and reporting because, as I mentioned before, we just have to have an answer on that for our customers. Yeah. So they're helping us from a sustainability um, perspective, system perspective, kind of data and analytics. Yeah. So, the, I mean, those are some really great steps you've already put in place. But, you know, we're always thinking about, okay, but what's next? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you can't sit still. So 2024, we're, you know... By this time next year, what do you hope to be telling us about? Um, I think about 
that we're in a lot more markets than we were already. Yeah. So one of the things I, I didn't mention before is we had an acquisition in 23, which is a company called Data Center One in Germany. Yeah. That's really helped us with a footprint that goes much, much deeper into Germany as a country. Um, and you'll see more announcements from us during the coming year around acquisitions, which are taking us into new geographic markets. Still very focused on Europe, yeah. but going kind of maybe further east, further south. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm, I know that uh, you have 24 hours left here, so you want to make the most of it, right? Um, but it's always a real pleasure to, to speak with you and, and to connect and to hear more about uh, what you're up to at, at Atlas Edge. We look forward to hearing more and more uh, throughout the year. But um, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.